Hello and welcome to XRM1 Business Solutions. XRM1 is a globally active software manufacturer for business solutions based on the Microsoft Dynamics platform. We are offering solutions for project, HR, and idea management, as well as time tracking. Hello and welcome to today's training session for time tracking in CRM project. This video is regarding CRM project, the software for professional project management in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. In CRM project, there are several ways for time tracking. Today I want to introduce you to all of these time trackings. I want to show you how they work, how you can enter, enter your times within Dynamics CRM when using XRM1. We have the possibility to enter our times with mobile apps, with CRM activities, fast time entry, employee cockpit, rapid time entry and Microsoft Outlook. I would switch the order a little as I think it's a easier way to understand the things, how they work itself. I would like to start with the CRM activities as this is something you might use already if you're not using XRM1 yet. You might have seen the video for CRM activities. You know all kinds of activities and you know that you can use CRM activities for planning activities, for the time entry and then for the billing. Because there's a separate video, I don't want to get too close into CRM activities, just notify whenever you mark an activity as complete in that time, the duration that is set as a time entry. I want to go into the next possibility that's next to the CRM activities. It's Microsoft Outlook. If you're using the CRM Outlook plugin, you get synchronized your appointments and tasks or service activities to your Outlook regularly. In that way, you can easily get your time entries that you've done in CRM automatically in your Outlook, but you can also do the time entries from Outlook and they are automatically um, synchronized to CRM. How do we do that? I will go into my system and open up Outlook. Now I open up a out the Outlook calendar and from here you can see the appointments that are from CRM or you can also create them from here. What you do is just usually create your appointment. For example, we do a workshop kickoff, set up the time and now something really important is that you set up the people you want to do the time tracking for. This can be yourself, but it can also be other people, or several people. What you need to do to make sure that the time entry is set is invite people, even though it is your user. You can do this either through the invite attendees or the scheduling assistant. I'm going to do a time entry for me and Peter Maurer, so I'm going to put us to in this appointment and I will do the time entry for both people and then set the regarding to the project that you want to connect to. Let's say we do it for the I1 project, send that and it is saved. Now it's scheduled, we have planned the activity, but you also want to do the time entry. If you do the time entry, we just go in, save you in, rec in CRM, the CRM record will open and we can mark it as complete. You see the people are required, marked as complete, and this time entry is done. We can do time entry with CRM activities. CRM activities, some of them are synchronized with Outlook, so this means you can do the same way from Outlook. You can create the time entries from Outlook and mark it as complete, and then it's counted as time entry. There's also another possibility to fast do your time entry, it's called the fast time entry, to just input the at least necessary information to your CRM system. This is a Silverlight mask and if you want to open it up, I go back to my CRM system, go to my project list and then in the dots in the ribbon is the fast time entry located. Or alternatively, in on the project module, you can scroll way to the right and you have it as an icon here as well. Like I said, it is a silver light mask and all you need to enter if you do time entry is you select the time you want to do. So we tune the second, starting at 3.30. We do, for example, one hour job. We do the job description. Um, we did the workshop. You need to select the type you want to connect that to. 
Please note that CRM project cannot only do time tracking against projects, you can also do it to other CRM entities, so also for the case, lead, opportunity, order, whatever, whatever you have. You select the project. If you say project, then you select the project. Please keep in mind in the first time entry, you only see projects with the status in process, not in planning. So with the first time entry, you cannot track your times against projects in planning. And you select the project you want to connect to. I'm going to select I1. And then from here, you can drill down and enter your time against subject also. So you can select a sub project from here. I, for example, do it against the analysis phase, analysis infrastructure. As if I've selected it, I just mark it as complete and the time entry is done and it'll show up here in the list. This list shows us by the dates, the time entries that are done. This is all closed activities you have in the system for this week. You can also change that to yesterday, today or last week. And you can select what you, time you want to set up. You can say you want to do it from now or you can select another time and you can define what you want to have in your regarding. You can say all projects should be in a regarding. If you have like thousands of projects in your system, you can also say you only want to see the recently used projects. If you say recently used, you can define how many uh, projects should be listed in the settings of your extra one. If you have done your time entry in the first time entry, you also can define in the configurations how long users are able to edit it. Uh, you can say, for example, they are able from the time entry once it's done, you are able to edit the time entry for 48 hours. Within these 48 hours, they are able to modify that. So I, if I figure out, okay, I did something wrong, I did a spelling mistake, I can click here on this button, I can change it, can do some modifications on the time entries that are done and then go back on mark is complete again and the time entry is set again. If you have set up a time for the time entries in the first time entry and this time is over, you see it will be grayed out and you can no longer be able to do the edit. So this is the first time entry for the quick entry of your worked hours. But there's also a possibility, not the fast time entry, if you like to look and feel of the Outlook calendar, there's the employee cockpit. This is like look and feel from Outlook, but within CRM. This is again the employee cockpit, also a button on the ribbon. Like here we have the employee cockpit, or you can use it from the navigation. And it will open up. Please make sure that you change the form to employee cockpit if you want to use the employee cockpit. You see that the employee cockpit is mostly built up, as I already said. We have the calendar view, and in addition to this calendar view, we have a list of the appointments. We see the times that are entered, and also have a quick edit here. Employee cockpit is made in HTML5, so you can use it also on your devices in Safari or wherever you need it. If you want to, so you see this calendar grid and within this calendar you can see the appointments the colors mean green is completed you can also see that here or filter here so i can hide them you see blue appointments they are open they are scheduled or we have gray appointments i don't have any here they would be invoiced so if we now want to create a time entry what we do is we go into the calendar just click in an appointment will be created you can change the size, you can also move the appointment, it'll be set up and then you can either do the modifications here so I can rename that, that this is the training for employee cockpit or also change the, the dates or what you can also do is you do this from here, what you need to do is change the regarding, set it up here, I can also put some uh, description. What will happen in the background is uh, again an appointment in CRM will be created. This appointment is listed to your project but also can be synchronized to your Outlook calendar. If you say this is done, you see it's still scheduled, it's still in green. If you say, if you do a mistake, just delete. Or if you say, yeah, that's how it took place, you just go in, right click, mark as complete. Or you have, you have this mark as complete in here as well. Or you can open up the appointment by this appointment icon. I'm going to mark it as complete and I will have done the time entry. There's some other possibilities in the ribbon. You see there's a new button. If you click this new button, you can also create a time entry within the employee cockpit. Then you don't need to click into the calendar itself. You can switch the screen. You can say you want to see the last week 
for example, or this week, you can change the view to today, day, week, or month. And you also have the record button. It's kind of like a stopwatch if you don't want to do time tracking, looking, okay, when did I start, did I end? You just want to say, okay, now I'm starting and now I'm finishing. Then you can take the stopwatch, just say record, an appointment will be created. This appointment started and it run until you say stop. And then you just need to modify the recording and subject. And this appointment will just be as long as you have worked on it. You will see the size of this bar appointment will go up with the time that's coming. So if we're working for an hour now, then you will see this um, bar already coming up. Yeah, but that was the employee cockpit. If you say you do your time entry not based on from and start, just on the hours that you were working on the project itself, then you might be interested in the rapid time entry. The rapid time entry is also located in the employee cockpit. So if I go back into my CRM system, I have opened up the employee cockpit. If I wanted to go to the rapid time entry, all I need to do is go click here on the employee cockpit button and change to rapid time entry. Like I said, the purpose of the rapid time entry is also for the quick time entry, not just for putting in only the hours that you've worked and not the start and the end time. If you work with the rapid time entry, we have here the time entries and down below we have some charts to see the entries that are done. What you do is in the rapid time entry, just select the projects that you were working on. Here we have two selected already. If you want to add some, click on the plus, select the project that you were working on. Just select that. It will appear here as a line. You can select the service that you were working with. So let's say we were working with a senior consultant and then just put the hours to the days that you were working. In the background, we're going to create a rendered service to the time entries. This rendered service does not have a start and end date. If you want to use this for billing, for example, you might need to, to modify some stuff. For example, you want to tell what you did or if it's billable or not. Herefore, you can click on, on the pen. And then you have this window on the right. And here you can do some modifications. Always an automated subject is created, but you can change that to what you've done. So you can say, I did training preparation, or you can also do enter some other fields like billable or something, and then save that. These are fields from the rendered service that you modify within this window. You also have the possibility to open up this rendered service by clicking on this icon. This form here is also almost fully customizable, means you can also, within the customizing, set up the fields that should be shown here and be editable. We have now done these time entries. If we say, okay, we do, we did almost the same as last week, or I will need to add some projects from last week, we also have the possibility to show the previous week and enter. You will get the projects from the previous week. You can just also take these for the times. So we have always the sum of the day here, and we can add also the times up in this project notes. If you want to see the previous week, just click here and script to the weeks that you want to look at. Here we have the chart to see the weekly overview of the hours entered and the weekly summary. So this is the rapid time entry, and then we are gone through all the time entry options in CRM projects. Outlook, we have the rapid time entry, the employee cockpit, the fast time entry, the CRM activities, and there's also mobile apps, unfortunately, because it's an online session. I can show you how that works. I just imagine that you have also appointments on your mobile client, and you can just take them for the time entries in your CRM. For more information regarding our products, services, customer experience, and support you are invited to visit our website, xrm1.com.